Hey guys, welcome to another Apple of David. I actually, this was more of an impromptu Apple one, uh, Apple review I should say, because I still have one more Apple I'm going to review that I had left over from like my big Apple, uh, you know, splurge, like I bought a bunch of apples, and then uh, I stopped by my, my work today before getting home right now to uh, do some work stuff, not actually work, but take care of business and uh you know being the apple guy i am i stopped by the apple section see what we had and i saw something i hadn't seen ever this apple you might notice there's not a picture uh that way of an apple because this apple is so new from what i remember that uh the pictures on google i just don't think i don't think they matter when I have the real deal right here, I think the ones on Google sort of suck. I guess I guess I should say. And this is the this is the real deal. I'm really excited about this Apple because if I if if I'm thinking correctly, this is the Apple I want to to try so badly. So after the first bite, I'll let you know. I'm really excited. We got like a yellow pinkish red sort of it's a different look i'll tell you that for sure it looks like sort of uh, i don't know how to describe it but it's an interesting look already oh my god it's true it's the red apple it's the red on the inside apple what the heck this isn't like colored keyed or something. I freaking knew it. I knew this one. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, it's red on the inside. What the heck? Yeah, it's like the opposite of a normal apple. Red on the inside, yellow outside. Isn't that weird? Now, as for taste, hmm, I can't say I'm like impressed. Here, okay, here's a few things. I literally just bought this off the shelf at work. It is not cold. An apple being cold honestly can make it taste a few points higher or lower on a 1 to 10 scale, if you ask me. Um, and so I don't want to say I'm disappointed with the taste, but I feel like it would be better if it was colder. But I wanted to try it right now. I had to know if it was red on the inside, and it is. Um, the texture is something completely different. I don't know how to describe it. It's like... It's sort of crunchy. It's crunchy bite, yeah. Now, in terms of sweet, I can't really say it's sweet. I think it is sweet, but a different kind of sweet. Not like your sugary sweet, normal sweet you might expect. It, it almost doesn't, it is an apple. It tastes like an apple, but it almost doesn't feel like it's one. I don't know how to explain it. It's crazy. But I'm going to try to do my best because I know these apples probably aren't super common. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? It looks like I just bit some blood out of it. I'm a vampire. What the hell? It's like bloody on the inside. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. Okay, the texture is definitely completely different than your typical apple. A typical apples are usually like smooth texture on the inside, you know. Except Envy, that one tastes like mashed potatoes, or had a texture of mashed potatoes. This one is like different. It's neither normal apple texture nor mashed potato texture. Which I guess I didn't realize those were the two baselines I was going to go off of. But anyways, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go no skin bite. And it's just... It reminds me of something. I don't know what. I, 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. This is like, it, it mind boggles. Okay. I'll give it a rating right now. I don't think it's like a 10 out of 10 apple. Nor a 9. Not even an 8. You know, this is like... I think it's like a 7. It's decent. But the, but the fact this is an apple... With a red inside, yellow outside. Texture that is like... Something I've never experienced before in an apple... It's definitely worth a try if you can find it. This thing was expensive, I'm not going to lie. But it's definitely something that's like, not necessarily you cross off your bucket list, but like, it's definitely worth at least one try. It's not probably going to be your favorite apple for everyday eating, but it's definitely something you, you could be like, hey, I tried an apple that had a red inside. Like, it was wild. You know, that kind of thing. Definitely worth at least one try. It was two forty nine a pound. So this thing didn't come necessarily cheap. In fact, um, I don't have my receipt. Hold on. In fact, I got two of them. Um, and it cost. Okay, I apparently can't read receipts. It cost me two nineteen for two apples. So yeah, definitely not your everyday apple, but wow, try it at least once. Not necessarily for the flavor, because again, I think the flavor is not anything crazy. It definitely has a different taste. I, okay, I'm not saying this is like a grapefruit taste, but you can't tell me it doesn't make you think of one, in terms of looks at least. It's not sour, but maybe it is a bit sour. Or like bittery or I don't know how to describe the taste it's so weird it's like definitely more sweet than sour but like I don't know why I'm thinking grapefruit but that's what I'm thinking in apple form it is this is crazy try it not because you'll like it try it because it might blow your mind both by look taste and texture this is crazy 7 out of 10 but don't dissuade that from making you try it if you find it in the store. Definitely at least buy one. Just one. Just try it once. And sure, you may not like it, but you probably will be like me and be like, whoa, what the heck is this? All right. Um, that was my Apple of David. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.